All right, so, strange title today, but stick with me for five minutes or so and I'll explain. So my dog is an intelligent dog. He, uh, you know, he's probably more intelligent than me, to be fair to him. I recently bought him a backpack to wear when we go for walks, street walks in particular. There's a reasoning behind this. When you pop a, a backpack on a dog, it gives them a job, okay? It's essentially making him work. And in giving him that little job, I'm giving him purpose. And the thing with purpose is, if you don't have one, if you lack purpose, if you lack that thing in your life that gives you a reason to, to get up and to do things, then you're always gonna struggle. You know, life's gonna suck. Once your mental, emotional, and physical needs have been met, then there's that extra thing, that thing that we all often feel like we're lacking, and that is having a purpose. Dogs are the same, you know, they have mental needs, physical needs, emotional needs. Once you've met all of that though, they do need that level of purpose. They need a job to do, they need to work. Because much like us, if they lack that, if they don't have that sense of purpose, they become destructive. Now for dogs, that tends to go outwards. They destroy things, they, you know, they display poor behaviour, barking, digging, chewing, whatever that may be. For human beings, though, that destruction tends to go inwards and we start to self-destruct. We engage in poor habits. We do things that we know don't serve us and we can easily spiral outwards. But if we have a sense of purpose and we have something to, to work on, something that fulfills us, something that you know allows us to express our passions and the things that we care about, then life has a hell of a lot more meaning. And when life has a little bit of meaning, we don't spiral out as much. So in seeking purpose and in understanding yours, we can actually start to solve a lot of the problems that we experience day to day. And when I'm talking about purpose, I don't just mean, you know, the work that you do to earn money. It's often, you know, misconstrued that your purpose has to create money or it has to create value it doesn't necessarily of course it does for a lot of people a lot of people find purpose in their work you know that's why entrepreneurs and business people exist because they found purpose in something but that doesn't have to be the case you know your purpose can exist in the things you do outside of your job they can be you know voluntary activities they can be your hobbies whatever it is it doesn't matter but the key point here the key thing to take away is that you need to have some kind of purpose in your life if you don't have purpose then everything becomes very bleary bleary is that a real word i think it is it becomes a bit dark it becomes a bit pointless and if life feels pointless then it's very very difficult but as soon as you have that sense of purpose you feel that fire, that passion, you want to get up every day, you want to do stuff, you know, you want to actually live your life. So a key part in living a life that's worth loving is understanding what your purpose is and where that lies. And that's something that we cover in great detail inside the Project Empress programs. We go into depth into how to find your purpose, you know, how to uncover that and then how to actually go and live it, how to make it a part of your day to day life. So the question for you today is much like my dog and his backpack, do you have a purpose? You know, what, what are you doing each day to give yourself a sense of purpose? Do you understand your purpose? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Drop it in the comments and let me know and I'll see you all very soon.